Hello, my name is Abby Chung. I'm a docent at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, and this is Wonderful Wednesdays, Docent Picks. My pick today is Robert Irwin's engaging piece called Untitled. Although Irwin began his career as a painter in the 1950s, like most artists, his work evolved, and he began asking himself, how do I paint a painting that doesn't begin and end at the edge, but rather starts to take in and become involved with the environment around it? As Irwin started to experiment with addressing this question, his efforts shifted to installation work in the 1960s, and he became a pioneer who helped to define the aesthetics and conceptual issues of the West Coast light and space movement. The light and space movement was a movement related to op art, minimalism, and geometric abstraction that questions our perceptions using light. Whether by directing the flow of natural light, embedding artificial light within objects or architecture, or by playing with light through the use of transparent, translucent, or reflective materials, light and space artists made the spectator's experience of light the focus of their work. Irwin said the rectilinear no longer made sense to him. It was limiting, and he could feel the world around him in the 60s opening up. The times were changing. He liked the circle, as it has no corners to distract from the focal points. Formed of acrylic, untitled as a convex disc that projects 24 inches from the wall by means of a clear plastic tube. Multiple coats of white-hued paint were sprayed onto the surface, and as the opaque paint moves towards the edges, it thins to transparency. The three-inch wide band in the middle also becomes increasingly lighter and transparent towards the disc's edges. The light projections from installed floodlights, also part of the work, create a pattern of overlapping shadows, compelling the viewer to look carefully. Ethereal, elegant, and at first, deceptively simplistic, the work asks you to question what you're seeing. Does this piece successfully address Irwin's question? Irwin would ask you to decide.